What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. Today we have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 17. Now, even though iOS 17.3.1 is no longer signed by Apple, you can still go to iOS 17.2. something or even 17.3 if you are on an older version and you would still be on a version that has the vulnerability, the kernel vulnerability that could possibly be a PPL bypass or something better. So we're going to get into that in a second. This series brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIMLock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So in short, as you probably know, 17.4 patches some important vulnerabilities. One of these is a kernel vulnerability that we believe might be a proper PPL bypass or even an SPTM bypass. So SPTM is basically like PPL but on iOS 17. Now this vulnerability over here does have some interesting ramifications because if you think about it, any jailbreak nowadays requires a PPL or SPTM bypass in order to work. You cannot make a jailbreak without one. So this vulnerability could possibly be very, very important. Important. Now, this was indeed patched in 17.4, making iOS 17.4 pretty bad of a choice to be on right now. now. If you are on an older version, for example iOS 16, I would highly recommend you stay on iOS 16, because iOS 16 is much better for jailbreak purposes than iOS 17, because you don't have to deal with SPTM, for example. Still, if you want to upgrade for any reason, or if you're on a very, very old iOS version like 13 or 14 and something, and app support is beginning to degrade, well, you would be essentially able to upgrade upgrade to iOS 17, but by using the normal route you would go to 17.4, because Apple just stopped signing iOS 17.3.1, which means you would not be on a great version. It patches all these in here, including this very nice looking Apple Mobile File Integrity or Amphi bug. What can you do is to use Delay OTA. Now for Delay OTA the profiles are still available and surprisingly enough you can actually still get 17.3.1. If you check here on my website I do have an article called How to Use iOS Delay OTA Pro files and install unsigned iOS versions. I'm going to link it down below and here down in this article there is a table containing all the profiles and their expiry date. Now these are usually available for three more months after a version is unsigned. The mileage may vary. Now if you go here you can see that iOS 17 is no longer available, it's expired, all the way up to iOS 17.1.1 is completely expired. However for iOS 17.2.1 this one is going to expire on 21st of April 2024. So you would still be able to get the OTA profile over here and if you follow the instructions here on this page, there are instructions over here if you go up, you're going to be able to actually go from iOS 13 or 15 or 14 or whatever to iOS 17.2.1. Now you will not be able to jailbreak right away because there is no jailbreak available. 17.2.1 is still pretty bad compared to let's say iOS 16.5 but it's much better than 17.4, like immensely better. Now you'd still be able to go to 17.3 and 17.3.1 as well, though I would not recommend it. If you can, go to 17.2.1. Still, iOS 17.3.1 will still be available all the way up to basically June. So you do still have a lot of window to upgrade to a version that can still have that bug that we believe it's a PPL bypass bug and all these kernel vulnerabilities over here. There is a catch though with delay OTA. You cannot go down. You can only go up. So you cannot use delay OTA to downgrade from iOS 17.4. You can only use delay OTA profiles to upgrade from old versions. So if you're running a very old version that doesn't have great app support anymore and you want newer features and a newer version to be able to use apps, you can use this method and still go to 17.2.1 which would be much better for jailbreak purposes than say 17.4. However, if you are on 17.4, downgrading back is not possible. These do not go in reverse. If you are on 17.4 right now, well, you're screwed. You should stay on 17.4 but there is not much you can do at the moment and it's pretty bad of a version. All iOS versions will eventually be jailbroken as time passes, just stop updating your phone. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. I will link this down below if you want to check out the instructions. And I would highly advise you to go ahead and do it if you want to do it. Do the update to a proper version right now. Do not update to 17.4 though. Pretty bad version. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.